For some of us, one computer is simply not enough. Even one computer with multiple monitors isn't enough. We might have a computer here and another computer here, which typically necessitates using multiple sets of mice and keyboards, but that is no longer going to be true because Microsoft has just updated their fantastic program called Power Toys to include a new module called Mouse Without Borders, and it is absolutely fantastic. We're gonna go over the installation and how it works in this video. So the first thing you're gonna do, click on the link in the description down below, which will take you to this website, learn.microsoft.com. We're going to then click on Install Power Toys and just install the one that is appropriate for your computer. Probably going to be one of the ones that says X64, your choice if you want it machine-wide or per user, it's up to you. Really won't make a huge difference. Let that install, and once it is done, you should have access to the Power Toys app. Now you're gonna need to do this on both computers, the one that is your primary and the one that you're trying to control near you with the same mouse and keyboard. Once you've done that, you can proceed. Look for Mouse Without Borders. Go into this, turn it on, and click on New Key to get an encryption key. At that point, go to your other computer, click the little arrow, type in the security key and the PC name and hit connect. And it's pretty much done and functioning at that point. It's that easy. Now, before I actually show this off in action, we're gonna scroll down and look at some of the settings here. So devices in a single row by default, what's gonna happen is if you go off of one monitor, it's gonna jump onto the computer. If you keep going, it's going to kind of come back around the other side in a big loop. So that's how it's going to work. You go off one edge, you're on the other computer, go off that edge you're back on the other computer or vice versa. Any edge takes you to the other computer, basically. And that's what this is here, wrap mouse. Move control back to the first machine when the mouse moves past the last one. You also have the ability to share your clipboard. So when you copy something here, you can paste it on your other computer. You can actually drag and drop files from one computer to another, which we'll test here in a minute. You can see here, there are several more options that you might want to play around with. I'm leaving mine pretty much as you see here though. You also have some keyboard shortcuts that you can toggle things with like easy mouse mode, which is what we're talking about, moving it from one monitor to the other with just simply dragging across the other screen. Otherwise you can use control alt and then your function keys to change between different computers if you want more manual control over it all that being said let's actually step back and demo this thing live and see how well this truly does work spoiler alert it works pretty darn well i'm going to try to just kind of freehand this i can't figure out a tripod orientation to make this work so here we have my cursor on this screen and serving as my second computer with a second monitor is in fact a Steam Deck, a Steam Deck, excuse me, running Windows 11. It is what it is, that's what I use. So let's take my cursor and hopefully you can see both screens here. Let's go across and there it is on the other screen. You can see it doesn't quite line up perfectly because the height is different, but that is still working really, really well. And of course I can come over here and click on my start menu and type things and all of that is working just fine and nothing has happened over here on this other computer. Now let's test out the ability to copy and paste things. We're just gonna click on a thumbnail that I made yesterday. We're gonna right click it and we're going to copy. We're gonna come over here to this file browser in my downloads folder and we're going to paste. And lo and behold, I believe that is the very same image. There it is. Now, if you want to copy larger files, you need to actually run Power Toys not as administrator. So to do that, you're going to go into, I think it was in general, and then always run as administrator, turn that off, close Power Toys, open it back up, then you can just drag and drop things over and do this for much larger files. And that still works pretty quickly. Overall, this is a really, really useful utility. I may literally put this mouse and keyboard away because there might not be a reason to keep it here at that point any longer. Really, really cool stuff, guys. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.